Hello Burlington, I'm Chris Kukoc from Royal LePage Signature Realty and this is Spotlight on Burlington for December 2018. Hey guys, welcome back to By The Numbers. This is a special Spotlight on Burlington edition at the request of a subscriber, Kathy Howell. If you're looking for the usual Toronto or Mississauga market reports, keep an eye on the cards up here. They will pop up and you can link right over to them. Before we get started with those Burlington specific stats, just wanna give you a little piece of information that will kind of put things into context. Burlington and Oakville tend to be a bit of a black hole of statistical information because some things are listed on the Toronto Real Estate Board, some things are listed on the Oakville Real Estate Board, some are listed on Hamilton Burlington, and none of them share with each other. So sometimes some stats are gonna be a little bit different. Uh, for the sake of consistency, I've chosen to use the Toronto Real Estate Board stats for this video. Okay, let's dive into those stats. The average price of a home sold in Burlington in November was 766,000, which is up 6.5% from last year. We had 168 sales in the month of November, which is down about 16%, which is around the average across the board in the month of November. We've got 2.5 months of inventory and the average home is on the market for about 35 days. All right, now let's get into the good stuff. The Burlington specific micro markets for the month of November. The average sale price of a detached home was about 985,000, which is up about 13% from the same month last year. We had 89 sales and we have 2.9 months of inventory, which is just a little bit under a balanced market, a little bit still to the seller's market side. The average price of a semi-detached home in Burlington was about 622,000, which is up 12% from last year. We had only seven sales and we've got two months of inventory. Now keep in mind that high absorption rate has to do with the fact that there aren't very many semi-detached in Burlington and very few of them were on the market. There were only 14 in November. In the townhouse market, the average sale price in November was 575,000, which is actually down two and a half percent from last year. We had 40 sales and there's 1.7 months of inventory, which makes townhouses the hottest market in all of Burlington. And in the condo apartment market, we had $424,000, which is down about 7% from last year. We had 31 sales, which is actually the exact same as last year. And we have about 2.2 months of inventory. Just something to keep in mind, the market is cyclical and we do tend to have less houses on the market in December. So the number of sales and the number of months of inventory do tend to go down a little bit towards the end of the year. Happens every year, it's completely normal. All right, that's all for today. If you'd like to look into the Mississauga or Toronto market stats, again, they're linked in the cards. One should be popping up right here, right about now. You can also follow the link in the description below. It'll take you to my website and you can see the detailed stats for each market written out in blog format. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.